Have you ever been in a conversation about Oracle point of sale and you're talking about the functions and features you have today to the functions and features that are available in a future platform or a different platform and you just get lost because there's all these different terms and functionalities that have these little nuances and similarities and it just all kind of blends together. Hi. I'm Steve Weaver, a solutions architect for Seaboard, and today we're going to talk about point of sale. And specifically today, we're going to look at the 3700 application versus our Symphony Cloud application. There's four key areas that we're going to review today. The environment, what the difference looks like from our premise 3700 to our Cloud Symphony. The cashier experience, you know, the end user, what the cashier physically sees. System management, you know, behind the scenes where we're being able to manipulate and update and change all the items and the parameters within the system, as well as the reporting, um, being able to get the data out of the system and the differences between the two. Let's go ahead and take a look at our first area, the environment. With 3700, it all starts with a local server. And this server is being maintained by someone locally, typically your IT department. And what I mean by maintain is that um, there's things happening. There's disaster recovery. There's um, backups of that environment, the month-to-month -month maintenance with Windows updates and, and other things that are just required for a server environment to happen. This server is communicating out to all the different registers um, in the different areas of the, of the location. These registers are communicating directly with the server and everything's fine in an online state, but there's still some limitations as far as growth goes due to the architecture. In this scenario, we're stuck with a single server, which means we're stuck to a defined number of registers that we can have. Also, during upgrade, it's time consuming because we have to take that server offline, which means all the registers are offline. And there's limited resiliency built into that as far as um, operations go, being offline and having this standalone um, option being available. With Symphony, that's not the case. It's a cloud solution, meaning there's no local server. Everything's happening in the cloud. Um, Everything related to your data and um, the disaster recovery and all those things that you're worried about in your infrastructure are happening from the cloud. This is a true enterprise approach, but it's done in a slightly different manner. I have all my registers at my endpoints, but in this case, there's a local device that is running as a intermediate between the cloud and the different registers. We call this CAPS. That CAPS is communicating with the cloud, and then locally CAPS is then communicating with the registers um, as needed. Those registers are still communicating out to the cloud to get updates and other things, but this solution offers a lot more resiliency to how it operates. Specifically around being able to scale, I can now create multiple locations, multiple CAPS terminals, and they're communicating as they need to. They can be in the far regions of the country uh, and under one platform with no issues. Also updates and um, those standalone options I talked about for when the application needs to be upgraded um, are much more advanced as well. The cloud environment can be updated, so my cloud's getting pushed to a new version, but since CAPS is running certain services locally for me, my registers are still online with CAPS, which is really the brains of the operation when it comes to transactions taking place. Everything's happening from that device. So it offers a much more advanced approach to being able to accommodate upgrades taking place. Um, it's also a way to always stay on the latest version, but also maintain your business continuity with having a, um, a targeted uptime and only updating your devices uh, when you schedule them to take place in the off hours. So let's take a look at our next category, the cashier experience. With 3700, 
Programming the screen for your cashier can be a little time consuming, but one of its main drawbacks is the limitation in its customization and just the age appearance that it has. As you can see in the example I have to the right here, um, this is a typical 3700 configuration where you can customize the screen, uh, but you're kind of limited to this look and this style that you that we see on the actual image itself. As opposed to Symphony, it's much more highly configurable. Um, I have a completely different operational configuration. This one is tab driven, so you can see the tabs across the top of the screen along with all the different buttons and options. This allows for um, a much more high paced speed of service. It has conversational ordering. I can bring in a fry and a burger and a large drink and it knows that's really a combo meal and it combos those items together for me. It's just far advanced as far as the ordering process goes and the ability to customize the screen to functionally what you need at your different concepts for those transactions. Not to mention that there's a whole new world of self-service. And the self-service options um, provide conveniency. It increases your order accuracy. It gives you a chance to upsell items through the, the process. And both the 3700 and Symphony platforms offer this on the same hardware because both run the same uh, hardware application. The 3700 experience is much different. Remember, we're defined to that 3700 look. So as I step through the ordering process, it's going to look like the 3700 application. You know, although I can do custom uh, items and add modifiers and send those to different kitchen areas, I'm stuck to this look and feel of this user experience with, with the 3700 application transition at and we look at it from the symphony side that's a much more customizable um, application it gives us a much more customizable approach to what it looks like i can insert custom images create touch points within the screen of of the actual process um, i can define things a little bit more with images so being able to bring in bring in my own items and images for um, each of them, as well as having all those modifiers and choices and other things flushed out and a much more appealing um, look to the end user. And that's the main difference between what the Symphony side um, can bring to 3700. It's just the look and the appeal. There's a lot of little functions and features as well. Um, as far as um, being able to set up uh, timeouts and other things. Um, but the flashiness is really what sets it apart from its predecessor. This is Steve Weaver, and this has been To The Point.